might recognize this stand right here. It's a fixture at Red Sox games and when you just need a late night bite near Fenway Park. Mm, you, we welcome David Littlefield, affectionately known as the Sausage Guy here in our WBZ <laughs> studios ahead of opening day on Tuesday. Good morning, sir. How Good are you? Good morning. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Thank you for having me today. This is going to be a blast. Looking forward to the week ahead, you know? You now, must be so excited. I know Jason's already eyeing this thing right here. <laughs> what are you most excited for for opening day? Well, you know, opening day is really beyond just the baseball. It's about yeah. New England. It's about the rejuvenation of the new year. Mm -hmm. And it's really funny. As much as the team's strong, whatever he's <laughs> upset, we are we are hopeless optimism, right? Like, no, nothing's going to keep us down. So all that energy on opening day, that coming together, it's really special. Let me, no Jay, let me ask you, David, what's in a name? How did you come up with the sausage guy? Well, it's interesting you say that. <laughs> okay. I started at Gillette Stadium, then Schaefer Stadium when I got out of college. And I was doing my, my thing. People come up and they were just greeting me. Hey, sausage guy, what's up? <laughs> and honestly, God, that's how it started. It's and it, it just sort of stuck. Like and the weatherman <laughs> instead of like me. Yeah, out. yeah, sort of. I just ran with uh -huh. it. I want to know how many sausages and peppers do you think you sell in a Red Sox season? Uh, first is never enough. I got three kids. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> that here. But it's not as many as you think. And beyond Fenway, we do a lot more. Uh -huh. uh, we do a lot. So it, it, there's a lot of sausages we go through uh, in the thousands and thousands. Yeah. What makes yours kind of stand out amongst the rest? Well, you know, I've always said, like, we really nurture. It's all about ingredients, right? So we got the best of the best. It's, uh, it's our own recipe. Yeah. And then beyond that, it's really cooking it and executing. And, and it's that transaction with the customer, making sure the food's fresh mm -hmm. and delicious. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's really our, our key. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's what a, we call engagement, everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, I, I think we, ha we might have some photos. You've had some pretty famous patrons. What are some of your favorite I guess Red Sox memories. Tell me about like the meeting I, Big Poppy. Yeah, I think the David Ortiz thing was uh, that relationship started with uh, with Good Sports years ago, mm -hmm. and it was an auction item. And we were doing this event, and we we didn't really we got a call last minute. Can we pair you up in a mm -hmm. wiffle ball game with David Ortiz and the food? I'm like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're like, yeah. Yeah, well, sign Charlie me up. Well, yeah. And that flourished <laughs> into a great relationship with David. I, you know, we we see each other like like just recently at one of his uh, charity golf tournaments. It was uh, it was incredible. I had an old picture that I had him sign. He's like. Dude was still doing it. <laughs> you know, it was like there was a, the special guest that would come and visit. Who would that person be? The special guest? Besides me and Tiffany. Yeah, and, and Big Poppy. Yeah, and Big Poppy. <laughs> we're, right, we're right up there, right? You know, one of my favorite guests, it is not known to everybody, it was the drummer from Boston, Sib. Okay. And he was a real special guy. He was a real neat guy. We met on a, at a charity event, and he came and visited me night after night whenever he was on Lansdowne Street at a ball game. He was a real cool, neat guy. And we have these pictures of some of your oh, famous yeah. patrons here. Mm -hmm. um, what makes, oh, is that some new kids on the block mm -hmm. right there? Mm -hmm. Now, um, what's the secret to the flavor? and What makes your sausage, sausage and pepper different from the others? Well, we, we use the best meat quality we can get. That's, that's the baseline. Is that Jerry it's like, it's Springer like up there too? It's got, it's got to be like the best of the best, uh, the best cuts. Uh, then you have the, the, the salt and pepper. Call. It's just the, the, the spicy. With the fennel, you got to have the fennel. In oh, there, that's you know? people, right. People don't get freaked out about the fennel, but a lot of people love the fennel. Yes. Have you had one yet? No, I haven't had one. I'm oh. taking this one home with me. <laughs> you, yeah, you can. How long does the prep usually take for you? Well, it depends on how many people are serving. You know, mm -hmm. we do events with or like a game day. Of people, game day. It, it's about three hours of prep. You know, mm -hmm. uh, getting there and early, getting it going. You know. Okay. So, so opening day will be there very early though. It's, okay. a, it's a long, fun day. And I can't let you go without doing that signature sausages. Yeah, right. <laughs> you sure it's loud. Sausages! <laughs> <laughs> the Sausage Guy, thank you so much oh, for joining you. us. Thank you, guys. Red thank Sox you. opening day is on Tuesday.